Alright, back again, Luke here, and today what I wanted to do is just show you how that Genesis 3 came out. I uh, scrubbed it all up, ripped it down, cleaned up the contact points on the inside, and uh, added a little bit of uh, oil to the outside of this thing to shine it up, and it is working great. Um, no problems at all. It fires up right uh, first time. And uh, cleaned up the controller here. The only issue that I'm kind of dealing with right now is I just have a makeshift Sega Saturn cable that I've made into a cable that'll work here for the Genesis 3. It's not in there the the best, and um, it could easily uh, kind of lose contact with those points because uh, I haven't uh, finished working on it yet. But nonetheless, for the most part, it does the job, and it does work. So. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, one other thing here that I thought I'd share with you is uh, just the AC adapters here from different parts of the world. Um, if you're from the UK, I know I have a lot of UK subscribers, and uh, uh, I'm I'm not completely sure with what the uh, UK end looks like on most uh, AC adapters here, but for this one here, this is the States. And in general, what they do is they put a thicker tab on one side and then a thinner tab on the other side. And from what I remember last time when I was back home, is uh, they generally just fit in one way. Now sockets might have changed since then, but generally they'll go in one way and you can't really flip them around. Um, unless the socket's upside down, then you can put it in upside down. But with uh, Japanese AC adapters, uh, this is one for the Mega Drive 2, um, or the, let me see, what else will it work with? It'll work with another Sega toy. Um, there's one that says Sega Toys on the top of it. It works with another one. can't remember the name of it right now. But uh, in general, all the AC adapters here have the same size uh, uh, pins here on the end. And you can put them in this way, you can put them in upside down, and then the less they'll work out the same. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Also, uh, what I figured I'd show you here is some size differences between the Sega Genesis 3 and this guy here, PC Engine. Now, I've had a couple of people wondering uh, what the size differences are between these things, and if we put this up right next to it, honestly speaking, there's not a lot of difference. Um, the Sega Genesis 3 might be just a little bit bigger, uh, might be a little bit thicker as well, but uh, for the most part we're talking, you know, just just small differences. For the, for, the, um, for the size of this one here, it's the size of a hand. This one here, you know, it's about the size of a hand. They're both compact, both really, really small systems, but both put out some pretty good power, so. I figured I'd show you that one there. And also, here is that Atari that I was telling you about in my last video. How I shined it up here. And this thing is pretty. Very, very nice. It came out so sharp. I was just so amazed. I mean, this thing just shines. And uh, the whole thing just looks like brand new. I... When I first saw it, I thought, yeah, this thing's got some potential. And after I scrubbed it up, I was like, oh, yeah, this thing came out exactly the way that I wanted it to come out. So, unfortunately, still dealing with that video issue here, but not a big deal. I'm sure I'll get that to work here sometime. But in the meantime, this thing, I mean, even sitting on my shelf, it's just screaming like, hey, Luke, you're so lucky to have me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I figured I'd show you that one. So let's uh, let's plug this beast in here and see how this works. All right, plug that in. And if you remember this one, I got this one in a package recently, which is pretty cool. And we'll pop that in there like so, and flip the switch. But yeah, it's uh, working fine. There's no problems with it at all. And it looks really sharp too, so I'm very happy to have this in my collection, as well as the 2600 here. This is just fantastic. Still got that uh, MK1 uh, sitting around here somewhere. I gotta finish cleaning this place. 
This place is destroyed. I'm almost embarrassed to show you, but I got stuff everywhere. Oh, here's something interesting. <laughs> Changing the subject, here's Mountain Dew in Japan. This is a beast of a can here. But uh, yeah, that's Mountain Dew. I found it in a vending machine recently and I've been drinking it like crazy, like it's going out of style. I got games all piled up here and I still have the CDI sitting over there. I just got stuff laying everywhere. I pulled out my uh, Sega Master System in the box here and uh, I was trying to find a better place for that and uh, trying to find a better place here for the 3D glasses yay also uh, I was thinking about displaying some of my boxes because I just like the way some of them look like for example this one the super graphics this thing is fantastic little machine here but I wanted to display that if possible but we'll see We'll see. Still got to finish cleaning up. So, but anyway, just uh, for the most part, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title this video since I'm showing so much garbage in one uh, one video. You know, like the garbage on my floor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in general, I just wanted to show you how that Genesis 3 got scrubbed up. Works really well, and uh, the video quality on it, fine, no problems at all. Also, want to show you what that uh, that Atari 2600 looked like after getting it all scrubbed up. But that's all for me for right now, and like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.